Hey, it's me, Jake, Jake Johansson. Welcome back to my TV show. It's my TV show. Who knew that there was going to be another one this soon? Uh, it's pretty soon for me. This is sooner than I expected. I don't know about you. Um, so I'm back on the TV show, on my TV, uh, TV show, my TV show. It's me. It's the Jake Johansson TV show. And uh, I'm back. I have some notes in my, my little book. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, it's the moon again. I know. You're probably thinking, are these all going to be about the moon? No, they're not. But uh, this one is. The first one was, and now the second. It's about the moon. I just wanted to talk about the moon. Because this is the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. And uh, spoiler alert, I was alive during the when they went to the moon the first time. So I was a kid, and it was pretty exciting to me. So the idea that we might be going back to the moon, with it, no, that's just me saying we might be going. That's, that's pessimism right there. If you're not used to it, uh, that's what it's like. When I say we might be going back to the we are going back to the moon. And you know how I know that? The president said so. And when the president tells you that something is going to happen, of course it's going to happen. Like the great health care that we all have right now. <laughs> Bill Clinton was going to give us that. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I believe we're going to the moon. I, I, I want to go back. Here's the, here's the big question I had was, why? Why are we going back to the moon? We, we were tired of the moon. We sent um, 12 men to the moon. This time we're going to send a woman. You know, so that's, I hope you're working on your list of women that you want to send to the moon. But uh, this time we're going to send uh, a, a woman or some women to the moon. We sent 12 men. And uh, we, we got tired of it. We felt like we found out everything we wanted to know about the moon. But meanwhile, since we stopped sending people to the moon, we've been sending <coughs> little robots and probes and whatnot. And we found out, us human being animals, found out from our robot friends that we sent to the moon that there's water on the moon. <clears throat> water. I've got some water right here. I'm going to drink water just to show you what it's like when there's water somewhere. Hmm. Let me tell you what. You would die without water. Uh, I mean, if this was empty, I could just go in the house. But on the moon, you had to bring all the water, or so we thought, except there is water there. We found uh, evidence of ice and water at the poles, the North Pole and the South Pole of the moon. And so the idea why this is exciting is we could send astronauts to the moon, and we wouldn't have to send all their water because they could drink some of the moon water. And I don't think the first astronauts to go are going to take go short on water just planning on get some water when they get to the moon. I think they're going to take all the water. Well, who knows if that water is any good, safe to drink. Oh, <laughs> terrible moon water. Look, we're probably all going to be drinking moon water in 10 years. We're going to be walking. We're going to be at the gym. Oh, this moon water is so, so much better than earth water. Can you believe we, we've been drinking earth water all this time? Blech. Blech. Moon water, that's what it's all about. So anyway, there's water on the moon which astronauts could drink. They're, they're talking about having a, uh, I had to write this down, and now i got to put on the glasses. And I'm really, this, when you've been alive since the astronauts went to the moon, you start to need these to be able to read things. Um, so they're going to have a moon, they're talking about a moon village where everybody's drinking moon water and working out on treadmills because they got to be, they got to be physically fit for when they come back to Earth because uh, on the moon, it's, I think it's one-sixth gravity. I don't have time to look that up, but it's much less gravity. So you're like Superman on the moon. You can jump around, at least in the beginning, until you atrophy, unless you go on the treadmill or do some kind of rubber band exercises, which is, uh, <laughs> you know, that's another thing you can look at on YouTube if you want to see guys work out with rubber bands, like big muscly guys who didn't get buff working out with uh, rubber bands, but uh, they're buff now. At least, well, look, who am I? I just got my own show, and now I'm already calling BS on some other guys who have their own shows for much longer than me, working out with rubber bands, plus tattoos. They got a lot of tattoos. I don't have, I have zero tattoos. So there goes my credibility right there. But uh, I'm talking about a moon village on the moon where you're drinking moon water and you're working out. Not Probably not in your moon boots. Those were a thing in the 70s, moon boots, but uh, they're not. Look, they're not, uh, they're not for working out. I, th I think we even gave up on those as a fashion statement. Although we do now have the Ugg boot, which is a little bit more of an organic uh, animal sheep version of a moon boot. But uh, we're not going to be working out in moon boots in the moon village. And then we're and then and then we'll need a space station going around the moon because here's the here's the other thing with moon water. We get this moon water, 
we can split it up into oxygen, which we can drink. You got to have oxygen to drink. It's uh, probably even you run out of oxygen you, and you run out of water at the same time, you're going to miss the oxygen first, let me tell you that. But let me just take another drink of water just so you can see what this is like. Mm. Oh my goodness, water is so good. But oxygen, <laughs> think about how much of that you've been sucking up since I've been talking. Uh, so you can split the moon water into oxygen and hydrogen. You can breathe the oxygen, delicious, and then you can use the hydrogen to fuel your rocket to go where? Mars, you're already on the moon. Well, you could go back to Earth. What's the point of that? You've been working out on the treadmill. You got your moon boots on. Might as well go to Mars. We're going to need Mars boots. <laughs> Somebody write that down on your to-do list. We got to get Mars boots. Mars boots, to go to Mars, you burn in the hydrogen from the water that you got on the moon. So I'm excited. I'm excited about us, America, going to the moon. Oh my God, this stupid camera has stopped focusing on me and started focusing on some other nonsense. Oh, it's focusing on my shirt. This is the worst. Well, this is what happens when you have your own TV show. You gotta, you gotta get a tech guy to straighten things out. Anyway, we're going to the moon. Um, we've already sent twelve men. We're gonna send some ladies. The, the Apollo was our first trips to the moon, but now the new ones are gonna be called Artemis. That's Apollo's sister from Greek mythology. We're going, we're going to the moon for the second time. We're going to Mars, but we're still working off Greek mythology. Go figure. Those Greeks, they know what they were doing. It doesn't seem like when I looked in here, the Greeks are going to be sending anybody to the moon, although there is a European Space Agency that's uh, going to be um, sending, uh, they, they're talking about building the space station, or the moon village. And then the Chinese astronauts, they're pacing themselves. The Chinese don't think they're going to be sending dudes to the moon or ladies, Chinese ladies to the moon until 2044. So we're going to really, we're going to really have a jump on the moon before, before the Chinese get there. The Israelis, they tried to send a robot, uh, bad news, it uh, crashed. So that's a bummer for Israeli set settlements on the moon. Uh, I, I, I gotta believe that they were, Israelis are just uh, exploring the moon because that's where they're thinking about sending the Palestinians. <laughs> Don't get me started on the Israelis. Uh, but uh, India has sent a second, they sent a, a first one, Chan, Chandrayaan, Chandra, Chandrayaan 2. They, they, they uh, sent to the moon. The first one of those also, I don't know if it crashed, but it just stopped working. But the Indians are going, the Israelis are going, the Chinese are going, the Europeans are going, and we're going in our Greek mythology uh, Artemis uh, moon trip. And it turns out, look, this is the other thing, yesterday, or the other day, yesterday to me, but a while ago to you, um, we, I told you that Mike Pence and, and Donald Trump have dedicated 1.6 billion next year to go to the moon. It turns out the total price to go to the moon According not to just this notebook, but the internet. I, I've consulted the internet because that's where my show is. So it's easy for me. It's close by. Um, it could cost between 20 and 30 billion dollars for us to go back to the moon. So you divide that by, uh, well, 20, 2024, that's, that's, look, we're in 19, that's five years away. So luckily the math is easy. You divide, uh, you divide uh, 20, by five, you get four, you divide 30 by five, you get six. I'm pretty sure I did that in my head. Can you believe this? Can you believe that? That's the kind of quality education I got when I was a kid and we were taking time out to watch people walk on the moon at that time. Anyway, you're talking about six, six billion uh, on the high end, four to six billion dollars a year and we're spending 1.6. So look, when I say we're going to the moon, I'm saying, uh, it may be a bumpy ride. We may not have all the shock absorbers that we want, say, you know, because we're going budget at 1.6 billion. So we're going to need a few more billion. Um, so if you want to go to the moon, I would I suggest you. I don't know if we've got a Patreon going or a Kickstarter to go to the moon, but uh, I uh, I appreciate you watching my show. Thank you. Uh, I'm I'm not going to the space station on the moon. I'm going to be I'm going to be holding things down here on Earth. And uh, so thank you for watching my show, the Jake Joe Hansen Show. And also, if you could, if you could like, push the like thing, and if you could write a nice comment, that's helpful. Subscribe, of course, of course. Subscribe to all the things that you like. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to subscribe. We're past that. We're past fear of fear of subscribing. I think. I hope. I hope we've gotten to a point, uh, human beings, where we're not afraid to subscribe to things anymore. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. It's me, Jake, Jake Johansson. It's so great to have your own show. You should try it. And also, 
I'm gonna, I, I do have some rubber band, those rubber bands, I'm gonna go do a workout now. So next time you see me, see if you can notice any, any differences. All right, next time, I love you. Don't, don't forget that. Not, I mean, that's, it's sort of a, sort of a platonic, like if we have not met in person, please don't come up and, and try and hug me right off. Let's work up to it. Let's, let's talk about it a little bit. Let's talk about it before we do it. That's good with any kind of uh, physical intimacy. That's just a side benefit of the podcast. I know I said it was about the moon, but also that's just a that's just a physical intimacy tip. Let's talk about it before we do it. At, at least in early in the early stages of a relationship. All right. Thanks for watching.